Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. It is Saturday. It is yard sale day. We're going out yard selling because it's like my, 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 I forget what it's called. You know, that thing that you do that you really shouldn't do that you're obsessed with. My guilty pleasure. I think that's what it's called. My guilty pleasure. Like, I love it. We don't even buy that much stuff. We just, we've gotten really good. In the years past, we used to buy so much stuff. But now, we just buy stuff that we think we're going to use or that we're going to need. I'm really good at getting rid of stuff that I don't use. Somebody else is not. So you want to look for something that I have that you're lucky that I didn't get rid of. No, honestly, I'd rather buy it again 15 years later. Anyway, welcome to today's video. I have to tell you guys something. I hate videoing in the car because the sun is always really bad in here. But anyways, I wanted to tell you really quick about my dream last night or this morning um, because I don't want to forget about it. Sometimes I have prophetic dreams. I have dreams that come true. It's happened to me my whole entire life. I've been able to tell Sam so many things that are going to happen to us long before they happen. And it's been both a curse and a blessing. But last, sometimes I dream experiences that I don't have to live through but that I can learn <laughs> learn from so you guys know how like every experience that you live through even the bad stuff especially the bad stuff you learn from them well sometimes I have a dream and I experience something through a dream I'm able to learn from that so uh, last night I dreamed that we went on vacation to the beach and we rented a condo it was this whole huge apartment building and it was a condo and it was right on the beach and we were so excited and we got there and we set up all of our stuff and then we went out to the beach when we came back we discovered that there was some more people in the condo and they were in like one corner of it and when we were talking to them like what the heck are you doing in our condo they said like it was rented to them as well but it was only rented to them this small corner so then we read through our contract and it said basically like it may be subject to like that we rented the whole space except for this one corner so we're like oh my gosh that's awful so then we went out um, to the beach again and we hung out for the day when we came back there was more people and they were in another part of the condo and we're like what the heck and then one guy said like the owner of this this thing he's really crooked and he always is doing that he's always like renting out for the same price to like three or four people at the same time and then we either get to just forfeit because of the contract you could forfeit your trip and just go home or you could suck it up and live with the people and enjoy your 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 vacation and all of us were talking together and we were like oh my gosh like that's so crooked and that's so wrong and it's so bad and it shouldn't be like that so we ended up just like spending time together with all these people and hanging out with them and we got to be friends with them and we got to like really enjoy being with them would we have preferred our own private accommodation on our vacation absolutely but we made the best of a bad situation what we didn't do was scream go down there to his office and throw a fit we didn't like complain Play. We didn't do all these things that I would have done years ago. Like it took me a long time to learn to just not be dramatic and to not throw fits over silly th things, even though this was a big thing. So what did we do? We ended up making the best of it. We lodged a complaint and through the whole thing, we documented the whole thing. We had all of our information together. So we enjoyed our vacation. We enjoyed the people. We made the best of a bad situation. And then we went home professionally. We took the guy to court and we didn't try and bash him. We didn't try and like run him down. We didn't scream at him. We didn't yell at him, but we just let the lawyers deal with it. It was a professional thing. It was a, it wasn't, it was something that had to be dealt with and we wanted to fix it for the next people that came along and were unsuspecting and so that's how we handled it and throughout my dream I had like the best feelings like you know how when you throw a fit and you get mad at people when they do something wrong and you like it makes you feel bad inside like every time you overreact and I, I know there are lots of situations where people are gonna overreact and I know that overreacting is a hard thing not to do trust me I learned um, but when you do it, you always feel just as guilty and just as bad as the person that's doing the wrong thing. Like, overreacting is never good. And it took me a lot of years. It took Gabby, having Gabby. Gabby does never overreact. She, it, like, is the opposite of overreacting. And it took me, it took her teaching me how to deal with things differently. But anyway, we handled it so well in my dream. And I had all these overwhelming emotions of, like, happiness and joy and it was so much better than how I feel when I overreact or I get upset about something. We just handled it professionally and we did it the right way and 
Anyway, that's what I learned. I learned in my dream to make the best of bad situations, not to complain, not to freak out, not to take it out on other people, especially other people who are just in the same situation as you are, just to deal with it. And we made amazing friends and made had an amazing vacation, one that we would never have had without those people. And then we dealt with the problem professionally so that we didn't feel bad. So anyway, I just wanted to remember that dream and I wanted to share with you guys because we all go through the same situations. We all go through times when we want to kill people because they wronged us somehow. But if you just let it go and let it work itself out and handle it professionally without freaking out, you will always be feel so much better. So I just wanna share that with you. On to the art sales where you have to get grain. I always have to get grain on Saturdays because Sundays are closed and I always run out on Sundays. I thought I found a body. We're home. I thought I found a dead body. I have to show you guys. I have to be really quiet though. I like freaked out for a second. Shh. Oh. I missed it. She moved. Posey was laying underneath that tarp right there and she had her head in the tarp and only her legs were sticking out. All I saw was like pink skin. I was freaking out. Oh baby. I still feel so guilty. I feel so guilty. I'm gonna go get you an apple. I'm gonna cut the grass and then I'll bring you and Snickers uh, apple. Okay. What a good girl. She hasn't got sunburned at all. She swims. There's a pool down here. Two pools on this side. She swims in and then she finds the shade. And then that's Sophie's little tarp over there. So she swims. She slept over it underneath it. And there's a blanket in there for her too. What a good... Oh, she wants a rub. <laughs> well, come over. I'm going to bring an apple. I'll come rub you. But I got to cut grass first. So we're home from the yard tail. And Sam bought me some... I don't even know what they're called. They're like... The things where you clip bushes. What are they called? I forget. We used to, the first house Sam and I ever bought together had bushes surrounding the whole property and we always used to, I always used to trim them. So anyway, he bought them for me. He bought me these clipper things. I'll show you, but first I have to cut some grass. All this stuff around the pool, I have to cut it all down. Pool's looking good. When it's this hot out, you have to like cut your grass, do your gardening, come in, and go back out. I have to go back out. But look, I got some beans. I love them. I love fresh, warm vegetables out of the garden. Sweating buckets. I'm going to swim as soon as Sophie gets home. But I want to go give my piggies an apple. But I have to cool down first. So uh, one thing I've been looking for at yard sales is big, heavy, old blankets. Because the pigs burrow under straw in their beds and they also really appreciate warm blankets. Pigs don't grow like a ton of hair, so they freeze in the winter. I brought them two apples. I'm gonna do a little bit of work in my garden and then I'm gonna take them down to them. Put this fence up at the beginning of my garden because I was worried the chickens were gonna get in there, but they don't even come near here. And now it's just like this little space that weeds can grow. So I'm gonna take all this junk off my garden and then cut around it and make it look a little nicer. There you go, much, 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 much better. Because now I can actually walk into the garden from this side and this side where it's like really congested. It was bad planning. And I can walk in from behind, which means like being able to pick all the beans in the piece. I have a lot of peas that are ready. Plus, it just looks much prettier. Are you stuck? No. What are you screeching about? So, this is what Sam bought me at the yard sale that I'm excited about. It's a, it's a hedge trimmer. I guess that's what it's called. That's her. That's Lady? Yeah. Isn't she huge? Yes, yeah, she Oh, is. watch her finger. Watch her. She must smell my... <laughs> She's actually really, really sweet. She is. <laughs> She's like, don't forget about me. Probably, she probably smells all the treats that I gave her. She must, because she never does that. I know. She's I like, know. hi. Oh, you have to always go slow, like, or squat down and like go from underneath kind of thing. Because here. Thank you. 
<laughs> and Gracie's like, I'll take that apple. Hi, Gracie. Hi. <laughs> What's the matter? Don't you like Elizabeth? Our, some of our neighbors said that they come by every day, walking by, and our other pig is the first one. He goes, runs to the gate to meet really? them. Yeah, and then they... Gosh, Isn't she so cute though? Yes. I want one of these. I know, like honestly, you would die. Like they are so much better than a dog. So loving, so sweet. I would love this. To come and they never pee in the house. Yeah, I would love to come in my backyard and have this farm with all these animals. Like that would be so fun. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. Like we've been doing it for a year and it never gets boring. Like yeah. it's so fun every day. Isn't she so cute yeah. though? Like how she just looked at you. Oh, yeah. she's like, oh, have some of your water. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, the little nibbles. That's probably honey, no, not honey pee. Have you gotten any more um, chickens or anything? Or turkeys? Yeah, we have turkeys. Oh really? Yeah, they're really sweet. You like turkeys? We have ducks, yeah, I love turkeys. <laughs> Gracie's like, but what about me? Hi. I have one more apple, but it's for little Mr. Snickers. Aww. Do you like how she like? Yes, yeah, the nipple. Oh, yeah, so cute. Okay. No, like a month, Sophie. Like a month. I was telling Sophie, they also do hacks at my barn, so we should bring Lady to my barn and do some of that. Oh, well, yeah, have, that'd be easier, wouldn't yeah. it? They have um, cross country there mm -hmm. out there too. Mm -hmm. Are you allowed to bring horses there though? Mm -hmm. I think I think so. I can ask her the next time I go, or text her and say, "Come here, my friend." Poor Gracie. Yeah. Isn't she so cute? Even though she's muddy, she's like so sweet. Pigs are so sweet. So is the other pig bigger than? Yeah, he's full grown, but he's not massive. He's just bigger than her. But also, he's a different breed. He's a miniature pig, but he's a different breed. So he's like uglier because he's a boy. Does he have the horns? Because he's a boy. Well, they they're haven't really her? grown yet. Or they're not called horns, were they tusks, tusks or something? Yeah, tusks. Yeah. Ooh, that was a big bite. She's kidding. I know, I'm sorry, Gracie. <laughs> Sophie loves this horse. Like she rides her bareback, she she canters her through the fields. She's in heat right now. It's the only time she likes storm. <laughs> I just look over and there she is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what happens when you have kids. The pool's looking good. Are you coming with me? Come on. I called her name and she just came running. Like so speedy. Yeah, that's how we end up with no water in the pool. <laughs> Look at how cute this is. She swims and she yeah, she just went in by herself. Oh, Do you like her? She's, she's really sweet. She's so sweet. All of our horses like her. All of them. Like it's, it, she is friends with Penny. Aww. Storm, he's checking out the pig. But she, the pig knows who's friendly and who's not friendly. Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Like she runs from some animals, some horses. She stays we're near some horses. She loves me. When we were young, we used to sit on the grass Among the flowers, we just let the days pass by People would tell us to get a grip of ourselves And get a job, we didn't care what we were told Cause when we were younger we used to sit on the grass and go, damn, I don't want to grow old. I wish I could turn back time. Mm -mm -mm. Stay up all night singing songs on the terrace. So, Gabby is going to tell me to do a backflip off the <laughs> <laughs> Of course Gabby would tell you to do that. We didn't mind sitting out in the cold. It was impossible to make us embarrassed we were. Yeah, you know it's hot when. Wow, he is really sleeping. See, that's the boy pool right there. Is he okay? Like, there's so much water down here for you. Just be alive. Oh yeah, I saw him blinking. You okay? He's usually not very friendly. Are you okay? Yeah, okay, don't move. 
You know it's hot when he doesn't run away from me. When we got older, we tried to stay in touch. But we had to move on. Life ran away from us. If I could go back, be 17 again. Yeah, I would, just to see all my friends. Running around the city acting crazy like...